Welcome back. I'm now joined by none other than Bend Olympian Mohini Bahardwaj Barry. Mohini, it's always a pleasure to have you in Thank studio you. because you always come bearing gifts. <laughs> Thank you. What do we have on the table here? Um, so we have my Olympic medal, um, silver. Yeah. And we have my Olympic leotard that I wore in the team finals, but it's signed by all of the girls that were on the team with me. And then we have my Olympic credential. So this is what they... Um, what they have to use to get in and out of the Olympic Village. Mm -hmm. They basically scan it. And then this is a picture of, luckily I had a really nice parent that went to the Smithsonian. And this is a picture of my, my stuff in the Smithsonian Museum. I donated my medal um, to them for, for about three years. And yeah. it was just because I was one of the first Indian Americans to, to actually medal. So. Yeah, and so that's what I wanted to get into. This holds a lot more weight than just, you know, getting an incredible accomplishment in yeah. Athens. You're the first Indian American woman and gymnast and second Indian American ever to win a medal yes. at the Olympics. I know that's not necessarily what you set out to do, but does that impact the importance of this accomplishment? Um, I don't think I really realized the impact that it had until I think years after and when they actually asked me for my medal and it was in the Smithsonian and I mean the Smithsonian hands yeah. down yeah <laughs> I mean. yeah and so so this you were a part of a, an exhibit or a display dedicated yes. to you and several other Indian Americans who were breaking barriers during that time period around 2004 um, which meant you had to part with your medal for a few years why I did you decide to do that well I was okay with with doing that and I mean what what good is a medal if you can't show it to people mm hmm so I think that was like the importance and then the cultural importance was um, well, the cultural importance was really the importance, you know, yeah, yeah. because it was very, it's very different for Indian culture to, to be an athlete and a successful athlete. Or um, I, I think we talked about like um, Padma Lakshmi, who, who's a cook. Um, so it's just very different from what you would expect from a normal quote-unquote Indian. <laughs> yeah, and uh, last time we spoke also, you talked about the Greek message on the back of this. Did you ever find and out you what And you said you meant? never figured it out. Well, guess what I did. You did. So it's, uh, oh, yeah. I want to get this right. It's the opening lines of Pinder's eighth Olympic ode, and it said, it translates to Mother of Golden Crown Contests, Olympia, Queen of Truth. So basically the Olympics are the ultimate competition, and you are the ultimate competitor. What do you think about that? Oh, my God. Well, I'm so glad you found out what it meant. <laughs> yeah. It took a little bit. It, was, it wasn't easy, but yeah, I wanted good, to make sure to surprise you. you with that. I've been wondering for years. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think it, it would be unethical to have you here in studio without asking about you know, what's going on right now with Simone Biles. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she, big news <laughs> of the day. She's returning to competition after bowing out of several different events. First, what was your reaction when you saw that she first decided to leave during the middle of that team final? Um, so much shock. Because as an athlete, my coach would never let me do something like that. But at the same time, um, the culture of gymnastics is very much changing. And it was, it was shock, awe, and then very much respect. Because who really has the guts to step out of you know, winning a gold medal for, for the US and being yeah. an Olympic champion? you know, that it had to be something that, that was very serious. Um, we'll talk about that. I mean, you said you've experienced the twisties, as they're called, yes. in your career. What <laughs> does that feel like? Um, you basically don't know where the floor is or the ceiling is. And so you're literally lost in space. And you can definitely get injured um, easily if, if you don't know where you are and you don't have that spatial awareness. Um, and a lot of times, and what I was saying with you, um, the, the twisties sometimes don't even have anything to do with your gymnastics. It mm -hmm. could be something that's going on in you know, your home life or your friends and, and, and stuff like that. So, well, and she said she felt like she had the weight of the world on her shoulders. So yeah. You have she, to imagine she's that. got so much pressure. Yeah. And for her to actually step up and be honest about it, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And then we also talked about that for the Olympic finals, it's, you know, three people compete on each event and all three of those scores count. So if she made a mistake, the whole entire world is going to look at her and think that, mm -hmm. you know, like they're going to blame her, you know. But 
but nobody's got the guts except for Simone to step up and actually say what's going on. And so, she's got guts to return. I mean, she's yeah. going to be competing in the balance beam in the finals tomorrow morning. That's an event that you competed in back in 2004. <laughs> and when we spoke last time, you said, and I quote, nobody wants to compete in the beam. It's <laughs> one thing that you can really fall off of. So is she making the right decision here? Well, so she's not dealing with team finals. And if you're dealing with team finals, you're dealing with like a team medal. Um, she's dealing with event finals, so it's more individualized, so that's kind of on, on her. But nobody wants to do balance beam because <laughs> it's four inches and four feet tall, and that's the one event that you're most likely to fall off of. I mean, if you're, like, literally, if you're, like, six inches off, two inches, like, just a little bit, yeah. you're, you're off of the beam, you know? Yeah. And, and now, because of the scoring, that's one point, so it's huge. But I love the fact that she's coming back. I'm so thankful and elated and I can't wait to see yeah. how she does. The Olympics are always better <laughs> off with her than without her and we will all be watching that tomorrow morning. Mohini, even though you're a Bruin, it's always <laughs> nice to have you here in studio. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. We'll be right back.